Hello and welcome to Linux Hint YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about queues in the C programming language. So what is a queue? A queue is a linear data structure to store and manipulate the data elements. It follows the order of first in and first out or we can say last in last out. Real life queues are the exactly same as the queues in the data structure or in any programming language. For example a queue for ATM. The person who gets first in the line will be the first one to use the ATM. So how are queues implemented in the C programming language? Queues are implemented using linked list or arrays but in this tutorial we are going to simply focus on implementing queues using arrays. So let's talk about queues. Let's talk about the functions of queues. A queue has two main functions. The first one being the nq function and the other one being the dq function. An nq function adds an element to the end of the queue while a dq function removes an element from the queue. But when we are trying to implement a queue in the programming language, we oftentimes include three more functions which help us create a program that is not prone to error. These functions are is empty which checks if the queue is empty or not. Then we have is full which checks if the queue is full or not. And then lastly we have the peak function which gets the value at the front of the queue. So how does the queue work? So we have two pointers, the first one called the front pointer and the last one called the rear pointer. So at the start, they are pointing at the same value, which is the negative one index. So when we have the first element inside our queue, it is placed at the zero index and the values of front and rear, both of these pointers is changed to zero. So currently both of these pointers are pointing at the first element. But when another element joins inside the queue, the front element keeps pointing at the first element but the value of the rear pointer changes to 1 which now points at the second element. Similarly, if we add on 5 elements inside our queue, the front pointer is going to point at the first element which is placed at the index 0 and the rear pointer is going to place at the last element which is placed at the index 4. When the first element completes or his task or whatever and is removed from the queue, the value of the front pointer changes from 0 to 1 which now points at the front of the queue. Similarly, when the elements 2, 3 and 4 have finished their tasks, the front pointer points at the last element which is the element 5 at index number 4. Let's remove all the confusion with the help of code. So inside our C file, I'm going to define a variable size of value 5. Then I want some functions which is nq. This is going to take an integer value and then place it inside our queue. Then we are going to create a function called dq. This function is going to remove our element at the front and then change the value of the front pointer as well. And lastly we are going to create a function called display. To implement all these things we do need a queue. So for that I am going to create an integer queue of the name items. And for the size, I'm going to pass on the size variable that I created. And then we need a pointer variable front, which is initially pointing at the index negative one. Similarly, we need a pointer variable rear, which is going to be pointing at the index value negative one. So now that we have created our queue, let's create the functions. So first up, we have the nq function, which is going to take an integer value. The first thing that we are going to do inside this function is check whether our queue has any space left for new members or not. So for that we use an if statement and inside the if statement we check the value of the rear pointer to see if it is equal to the size. If there is no space for new members we simply use a printf function to display that the queue is full. Else if it is our first element in the queue then we are going to set the value of front to 0. Otherwise what we want to do is we want to increase the value of the rear pointer and place the item at the index value of the rear pointer. And then we are going to prompt the user that we have successfully inserted the value. And then we are going to write out the dq function. So in the dq function, the first thing that we want to check is whether the queue is empty or not. So we know if the queue is empty, then the front value will be pointing at the index negative one. If the queue is not empty, we are going to remove an element from the queue. So what we did is that we increased the value of the front pointer and if that front value increases the value of the rear then we simply put the value of front 
to be one less than the rare. Lastly, we have the display function. So I want to prompt the user when the queue is empty. Otherwise, I'm going to print the values of the queue using a for loop. So now that we have coded all our functions, we are going to head inside the main function and we already know that our list is currently empty or our queue is currently empty but we are still going to try and dequeue it. This should give us a prompt or an error. After we have checked for the error, I am going to enqueue some integer values. So now this should actually fill up our queue with 5 values but we still want to try and enqueue another value. So I am going to enqueue another value and then I am going to display the queue. After that, I am going to try and dequeue the queue and display it once more. So let's try and executing this program. Okay, so when we tried to dequeue something at the very beginning, we got the error that the queue was empty. And then we were able to successfully insert 5 integer values. And when we tried inserting the value 6, we got the error that the queue is full. Then we displayed the queue and we got our elements as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we use the dequeue function and deleted one value. After deleting that value or after dequeuing that particular element, our queue becomes 2, 3, 4 and 5. So that is how you implement a linear queue data structure in the C programming language.